Greetings, unsettled souls, and a welcome to the correct views. Look at that. We have music and graphics. Yes, indeed. Yes, it is up and running. I did a test flight with it. I used the, uh, if you haven't seen the last show, by the way, the, uh, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Make sure you see who got it. Some police officers are getting a dunce cap. I hope to have that in the mail by Monday morning. I like to post the video before I send it so that they don't have So if someone wants to pull it, all of you have already copied it by hitting remix and they don't have the option to because it's everywhere. All right, guys, real quick. I got, I got this recording today. Listen to this. The Correct Views has a mole inside... North Korean headquarters. Yes, listen to this. It sounds a little like Kim Jong Il. It, it is. It, I, I think he's busy with a pig. Oh, clearly he is. Look, he is indeed. Let me tell you what this is about, guys. Um, this is from news.com.au. Anonymous hackers attack North Korea news website, Flickr account, and Twitter feed. This is wonderful news, and let me tell you why. I am not by any stretch of the imagination a warmonger. Yes, I was in favor of taking out the uh, nuclear facility in Iran because I happen to believe that that regime would use it as a dirty bomb. I don't really believe that they're going to launch a nuke at Israel. I have said since the word go that what I believe is that they are going to use it to uh, basically as a dirty bomb, a dirty grenade, if you will, to send radioactive debris to their neighbors that they do not like. I don't think we should do that now because Obama is the worst president ever and you can't do it now because if you were to do so, you would find rather quickly that you have created a nuclear poison that will stretch all over the Middle East. So now you cannot do it. I was not in favor of Libya at all. I'm not in favor of what we're doing in Syria. Um, Kim Jong-il, this man is flirting with it. He really is and I'm going to tell you why. I mentioned this a couple episodes ago. We declared war. They declared war. This isn't one of George Bush's or President Obama's little pansy wars that he does by signing paper and undermining Congress. This is a war, and it didn't end. There was a, 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 a ceasefire, but it, it is not an over war. And this man is threatening to nuke America. This man probably can't wipe his own arse without a lot of help doing so. And yet this stupid pig wants to come out here and talk about nuking us. Okay, we haven't done anything. I know America is not a saint, and I'm not saying that we are. We have done, unfortunately, dreadful things around the world in the last uh, 10 years for sure. But we've done nothing but stick up for South Korea, as we said that we were going to do. And um, as, as we've done since the, uh, the ceasefire in the Korean War. So here we go. Activist hackers appear to have infiltrated North Korea's official news website and its accompanying Twitter and Flickr feeds, posting unflattering images of leader Kim Jong-un. I, I thought it was kind of flattering. The China-based website, Oremizu Kerry, which distributes news and propaganda from the North State media, was inaccessible and its companion feeds attacked and defaced. Defaced? Again, I thought it looked nice. You saw the picture. On Twitter, excuse me, the male dancer was wearing a Guy Fox mask, a trademark of the anonymous activist group. On Twitter, the Uramina Zakari account's profile was changed to one of a couple dancing a tango and a series of tweets read, hacked and tango down. Oh, but you're gonna, you're gonna nuke the U.S. Oh. The website Flickr page showed a number of images, including one which simply read, We are anonymous, and a mock-up wanted poster featuring Kim and a pig's nose and ears and Mickey Mouse tattoo on his chest. In other words, very American. 
The poster claimed that the UN had offered a $1 million reward for Kim's capture due to his threatening of world peace and wasting money while people starve to death. See, it's not about just creating silly cartoons or memes. Love them, though we do. And if you need to watch the uh, last, uh, uh, would have been the uh, 4 6 2013 show on the mediaspeaks.com, you'll know what I'm talking about. There was a whole discussion on memes, as well as some of this North Korea talk that I wanted to get into a bit deeper. Um, so I'm going to go on with this. I'm only doing one topic. I want to test out the new equipment, and I want to talk to you guys. It has been a minute. The website's Flickr page showed a number of images, including one which... Oh, I'm sorry, I read that. Urimin Zakari is best known for posting propaganda videos exacerbating the United States and including images of the White House framed in the crosshairs of a sniper's rifle sight. The attack came amid soaring ten military tensions on the Korean Peninsula with Pyongyang, Seoul, and Washington engaged in a bout of high-stakes brickmanship, basically trash-talking. It was followed a major cyber attack that crashed the computer networks at South Korean TV broadcasters and banks last month and was widely blamed on North Korean hackers. So there we go. This little pig got his. And let me tell you what. I don't care how anti-war you are. If you threaten to nuke the United States of America, there will be repercussions. If you attempt and actually do it, the repercussions will be devastating. And that's something that no one wants. And to some degree, it's something that we would have to do. Would America overreact? I don't know. Let me ask you somebody. How do you overreact to somebody sending a nuke at you? This is the direction that the world heads in when you have fascism. And you keep hearing about Korea cry about their th sanctions. Well, if you can build a nuclear bomb, maybe you can feed your own damn people! And if you can't, then maybe you shouldn't trash talk the United States because we're not going to give you any money if you threaten to nuke us. Call me crazy libertarian. But it is important that we get this video that I made right here, get this picture out there. Let the people know in North Korea that we think he's a pig. We said he was a pig and we didn't get struck down. He's not a god. He is a man who is destroying his country, just like his little loser father did. Thank you for listening to The Correct Views. It is Sam Ivey, also reporting for The Media Speaks. Make sure you go to TheMediaSpeaks.com and check out all of the work that's going on there. There's a huge project soon to be dropping from all of us, and I hope to have all of you watching it. Please donate to the show if you can, friends. Good night. God bless.